what's going on youtube come back at you with another video so i just watched a video on my son's instagram that is extremely disturbing um i can't show you the video i don't want to get flagged but basically there's a guy on facebook live who is rapping along with this song that's talking about an execution and it just so happens that he gets murdered on Facebook Live the same way that the song is rapping about. I'm going to show you what my song has up. This is powerful. He said, um, please be advised this video that this video is traumatic. I sat here conflicted on whether to post this or not and decided that it was a harsh lesson and reality needed to relay a message. I'm sitting here with tears in my eyes because I just watched a young king lose his life on Facebook Live more than likely by another young black king as he listened to and sung a song by a young black king that pretty much celebrated and glorified taking a life in exactly the same manner this king was executed. I'm not just crying for him, but I'm crying because I know this won't be the last. I know in a couple hours... Somebody else's son will meet the same fate. His mother will mourn. His face will be on t-shirts and his crew will retaliate. Same cycle. We've normalized this behavior. He said, we've been taught to believe that somehow taking our brother's lives makes us gangster or real. That shit is a lie. It's nothing real about this. We have been lied to for so long. This young king was shot in the head shot in his head while the song said headshots cause a lot damage he spoke his own death into existence is this what you want young king does this look gangster is this real not at all but in the reality of the streets only thing that is promised in death or jail he said uh king stop killing kings i'm gonna show you another one um, that he put up because this is actually a link as well to this guy's family's um, uh, GoFundMe or whatever so that they can get uh, money for the funeral and other costs, hopefully. So this is the article. A teenager was shot and killed while rapping on Facebook Live. He said, so I posted a video of this young man, Jeremiah Dickey, being shot down and killed on Facebook Live. I was so hurt. I went and met with the principal from his school who connected me with his sister and his mother. They are deeply hurt by the situation. The pain was so unbearable. His sister cried in my arms and his mother said she hasn't cried yet and she's still in shock, but she knows it's going to hit her hard. Let's keep them in our hearts and prayers. In the meantime, they need to raise some money for this young king's funeral. I posted their GoFundMe info. And then he at until freedom at um, the other one. I don't know what that is. He said, we'll be doing all we can to assist this family in this time of need and pain. If you can donate, it would be greatly appreciated. If not, spreading the word and letting our kings know they are better than this would definitely help. Um, first of all, I would encourage anybody out there to go donate to this funeral if you can. Help these people pay for the cost of burying their loved one who was sadly murdered on Facebook Live. This shit really has to stop. Um, I'm glad my son uses his voice the way he does and tries to reach people. But more people need to do this as well. More big homies, more OGs, whatever the case may be. We got to stop this shit. This shit is out of control. People just killing each other. They're getting younger and younger. It's getting more stupid, more senseless. And it's just like, at what point does it finally stop? It makes no sense. Like what he's saying about being real, that's exactly what it is. What's real about this? This is not real. Real is taking care of your family. Real is taking care of your responsibilities, being able to pay bills, being able to put food on the table. Real is being an honest person. Real is being somebody other people can depend on. Somebody who wants to help people. That's what being real is. Being real is not picking up a gun and going to kill somebody over some dumb bullshit that probably could have been solved a whole different way. 
it's time for a change. I definitely feel where he's coming from. Um, the video is hard to watch, just knowing exactly what happened. You don't really see anything. You hear the gunshots, you see him rapping, and then all of a sudden, you know, you hear the shots go off and it's a done deal. But um, it's traumatic to even know that this is what's going on in these neighborhoods. This is what's going on all across the country on a daily basis. We got to do something to make this stop. We got to do better. Let me know what you guys think. Again, make sure you go um, donate for this GoFundMe. I'll try to find a link for it and put it up and pin it as a top comment. Let me know what you think, though. I appreciate you watching. Peace.